Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. And this morning, we're going to be talking about a wellness app that is focused on pharmacies, at least for now. And so joining us this morning is CEO of DeliverX, Mr. John Charles. Mr. Charles, good morning. Good morning, Camilla. Nice to see you again. <laughs> so we're talking about a wellness app. Tell us about the app. I know that you mentioned it's focused on pharmacies right now. Yes. So tell us where we are at at this stage. Okay, so let me dive into what it is. Mm -hmm. um, DeliverX is a platform that enables, at this time, pharmacies. And the range of pharmacies, from the small mom and pop operations to the largest chains, um, to sell their meds and, in fact, any other item that they have in store online. Um, how I'd like to describe it um, effectively and really descriptively is that, let's say you take Amazon and Uber and CVS and mash that together in mm -hmm. one business operation, that is what DeliverX is. So we can go online to order pharmaceuticals? Yes. Oh, okay, nice. I mean, how did you come up with the concept then? Well, as with all things Trini, right, um, in a social setting, um, a friend of mine got a call, listen, you, you need to get meds to your mom. Mm -hmm. And the next day he told me, man, I, I spent hours going from drugstore to drugstore, literally beating the pavement, just trying to get, and he didn't get all um, of the items that, uh, that were required. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I, I thought about how that scenario impacts me as well, because I have aging parents and grandparents, and that happens to me. Mm -hmm. And that the, 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 the kernel was born there, the, the, the idea started to germinate. And I said, listen, we need to do something to take care of our own families. So why not just do it? Okay, but how is it going to work in terms of a procurement perspective? So when you uh, order, let's say for example, your vitamins or your supplements online, mm -hmm. what then is the process? What happens in the back end? That back end is a long, um, <laughs> a long process, uh, yes. process, right? But um, let me let me break it down like this. So, anyone over 18, 18 and over, right. can go online, set up an account. We have to verify that you are who you are. There are no fake accounts. Right. And using the app or a browser, you can search either via your favorite pharmacy. It might be the pharmacy around the corner, or you can search via the item. And when you search by the item, various pharmacies will come up who carry that item. So you can decide, okay, what's, uh, what's your parameters for, for choice? Whether it be the pharmacy that's closest to you or by price. Hmm. And then is it that it's a pickup versus uh, online delivery? Or how, how does that work as well? Uh, the trunk, we handle everything on the back end from order to delivery. So okay. you can sit at home and listen, I need, I don't want to call a brand name on you, but I, I need X, mm -hmm. right? Um, you go up, you order it, place your order, you pay, and it's delivered, it's delivered on demand to, you. to okay. you, wherever you're located, actually. Yeah. Because you may sign up and register an address as your home address, but people don't get sick at home all the time. It could be at your office, and listen, I need to get this. And when you place the order, there's the option to have your delivery address put in there. So it's taken to where you need it to go. And we're also extending the services to Tobago as well. Absolutely. Very nice. Now, I know that um, companies, some companies were doing this during the COVID-19 pandemic, which is why I asked, what was the reason for launching this? Um, was that also a reason for you too, or, or only because you mentioned because of your, your parents was, and grandparents? This was being built since 2019, pre-COVID. Okay. And the only reason why it wasn't rolled out during that knee-jerk reaction time was because it required testing, testing, and more testing. I mean, the, the framework that we've built it on is, is, is very robust, and we've had to ensure that um, we would be able to meet all requirements, statutory, legal, and everything else in terms of deliverables. So that required a lot of testing. Have merchants already signed on to the program as, as yet? We have a few signed up, um, and we are pushing hard on that um, merchant sign up uh, bit of it right now. But um, customers can go and sign up as well. And when pharmacies become available, they'll receive a notification in app that, listen, these people are now available to buy from, to purchase from. Now, I want to touch on cost only because when you hear things are online, you think it's going to be more expensive than it is, uh, for example, if you walk into it, of course, and I know what you're trying to offer as well, is that convenience. Yes. But how much are we going to have to pay for convenience? I'm sure everybody orders from Amazon through all these um, 
online shopping right. things and people buy KFC and all that. It, it, it's, it's, it's cheap. All it's right? cheap in comparison. It's cheap in comparison and for the value that you want it for. Um, it's $35 for a five, within a five kilometer radius of the store that you're purchasing from mm -hmm. and an additional $5 per kilometer after that. And usually people tend to buy within a, a, a three kilometer radius anyway. So it really it's, 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 it's gonna be like a, a fixed cost for you yeah. then. What sort of impact are you hoping to have? Um, let's say you launch, has it been launched already? Or it's now? This is the beginning the of, of, yes. of our roadshow, but it has been launched, a soft launch I'll call it. Mm -hmm. But this is the beginning of, of the roadshow. So we're now gonna get into moving, moving our, our marketing machinery and all this. What right has there. the response been thus far? It's fantastic. Um, we've done a lot of research, and the people that, um, the pool that we access for that research keep calling to say, when is this coming on? And this is, this is older folks, people who you may not think are that tech savvy, and, but they, they want to use it because the problem is there. Um, some people have their, their, their kids overseas, right? and they might send the money for them to get the meds, but how do they get the meds? Mobility might be an issue. They might be ill, they might be infirmed. So their family overseas could go into their account, order it, pay for it, have it sent to them without having to you know, call somebody. Yeah. Say, listen, mom needs this. So that's sort of an indirect way of um, approaching those who are not tech savvy. But what about the, the grandmother at home, you understand, who do we not have the family support? I mean, is there any sort of um, easier way for her to access the system? Or I guess, what is the, how easy is it for people to use that app? Ease of use is through the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they simply log on, either through their browser or their phone right and like i said so they can choose they might have a favorite pharmacy around the corner yeah, right. that, that they will go to regardless right they don't have to leave home they look for it Bam. what do i need Bam. and if they don't know what they want they can actually talk to their pharmacist in the app there is that chat chat capability built into the app is there a time frame on it? So for example, if somebody needs um, a supplement at 12 o'clock, I mean, they wouldn't need it. But if they need their pills, let's say, at midnight, at 1 a.m. in the morning, is there a cutoff time, or can you get that uh, access as well? You can shop anytime. The delivery aspect, mm. right, the, 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 the fulfillment end depends on the operating hours of that pharmacy, right? right? But we are encouraging people to try to ramp up to 24-7 business. This enables you to do that, right? Without, ha without having your doors open in an unsafe environment. So your, your staff could be inside. Of course. The pharmacy is closed, but you're able to transact business. Mm -hmm. And w because it's an app, you will be able to have that chat experience as well, no matter the time of day? No matter the time. Interesting. And is it a free app and is it available for iOS and Android? Absolutely, it is absolutely nice. free. So it's free to sign up, um, free to download, mm -hmm. Um, it's free for both end users and merchants. Interesting. So merchants can go and they can list their products. But then how, you see the thing is, merchants now also have their own uh, website and they also have their own delivery options. So I mean, how do you compare to merchants who actually have what you want to be offering? That's a very interesting question. So the proof is in the eating, right? The pudding. The pudding, <laughs> right? Yes, Mr. Charles. Right. Um, I've had the experience, like I, t I, I've tested, 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 and I've tested the competition, right? And they don't deliver what we are offering, which is when you're sick, you, you want your stuff now, you don't want it in two days, you don't want it in a week. You want it at least today. So the on-demand side of it is what we are really concentrating on. I mean, you want to get well. Um, so we have built and engineered the entire solution in such a way that this is exactly what we do. So how you want to deliver, when you want to deliver, is largely up to the customer. So if I want it now? You'll get it now. Can you guarantee that? You'll get it now. With our roads and traffic system? You'll get it now. <laughs> I'm putting I'll, you on the spot, Mr. Charles. Tell me. I'll, I, will, I, will, I will tell you this. We have mapped out our improvements and um, objective in, in terms of technology growth over the next five years. So don't be surprised to see drones, little orange drones flying overhead that will be distributing people's packages. It really is something like Amazon. This is how far forward we, we intend to go. Mm.
right? So yes, Trinidad has traffic, and there are certain times of the year, certain times of the day, rain falling, there's a flood. We intend to, you know, cater for all of that. Well, Mr. Charles, I look forward to see the app, um, and of course, I look forward to see it also when it has been launched, because I know you mentioned there's that soft launch that's taking place, so I look forward to yes. the launch, and I really wish you all the best with this, because I think it's a fantastic idea, so all the best to you and everybody you. else Thank at the you company. Very much. Right? <laughs> and that, of course, was the CEO of DeliverX, a wellness app, which, of course, is only focusing on pharmacies for now. We have the CEO joining us, Mr. John Charles, just telling us how the app works, so look out for that. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. Stay with us.